Hello, my name is Sadiq Bal and my group members are Muhammad Hassan and Abdul Rashid. The topic of our presentation is API based ransomware detection using machine learning based threat detection model. This paper was published in 2021 in IEEE conference. Introduction what is ransomware? It is a type of malware which distracts access to system and data files by encrypting them and demands for ransom. If victim not paying, their data will be lost. How do we get ransomware? Mail spam. To gain access from threat actors use spam where they send an email with a malicious attachment to as many people as possible, seeking who opens the attachment. Malvertising or malicious advertising is the use of online advertising to distribute malware where little or no user uh, interaction is required. Spear phishing is sending malicious email to specific target. An example of spear phishing would be sending emails to employees of certain company. Social engineer threat actor may use social engineer in order to trick people into opening attachment or clicking on links by spear by appearing as a legitimate user. Ransomware detection. There are different techniques available for ransomware detection like signature based behavior and detection on the basis of traffic analysis. Recently of the best a method get attraction for ransomware detection called machine learning based detection. Targeted problem. The best way to protect from ransomware is to prevent it from happening in the first phase. So this work will address to develop uh, ML-based uh, model for ransomware detection using APIs. We will also study the take life cycle for Windows platform. Static analysis is time consuming and required manual effort there for we will, uh, our model will be based on dynamic analysis to detect ransomware in real time environment, which involve log collection, file system operation, activities in Windows registry and function call monitoring. Some ransomware use API based obfuscation techniques to avoid detection will also be addressed in this work. Methodology Work in this paper is focused on performing dynamic analysis on ransomware samples to extract various features of malicious code plot patterns and developing machine learning based ransomware detection model. Dataset creation. The lack of standard data set for malware behavior analysis is a known problem. For this experiment, the author created their own data set that contain uh, non-malicious and ransomware samples. They collected 58 ransomware samples from publicly available sources such as VirusTotal, the zoo, a hybrid analysis and malware sample sources. They selected VirusTotal to classify files as ransomware or a legitimate software. We also collected 68 non-malicious samples from trusted sources such as CNET, Chocolate and Portable Apps. Analyzing collected samples through the Cuckoo Sandbox and getting a result in a JSON format to check which, which type of API function are called. Then extract common and unique feature of both the samples that is ransomware and non-malicious and convert them to CSV format and at last pass those extracted CSV file features to machine learning algorithms to predict whether it is a ransomware or not. This figure shows the experimental setup of this paper. Of the collection, after the collection of samples, we input them serially into a cuckoo sandbox to receive an automated analysis report of the individual file as report.json. Combining both report and extracting features and passing them to a machine learning model based on the data provided to ML will predict whether it is a malicious or not. Tools. The following tools were used in this paper. Cuckoo Sandbox used to analyze malwares, Ubuntu and Windows 7. Pros, uh, uh, Prosmon 64.exe Process Monitor used for Process Monitor, Sysmon.exe System Monitor during ransomware analysis, API Monitor 
to extract features from the report generated by the cuckoo sandbox. Process dump, used for process dump. Results and graphs. Thur reduced their 206 uh, multivariate API calls to three sem principal components. The, the data set was then employed to, tra uh, to train the ML algorithm without data loss of API calls. The initial observation had 249 API calls from ransomware samples compared to 221 API calls in Binion samples. We utilized the common API call calls between Binion and ransomware. So we retained 58 API calls that were unique to both samples. 43 API calls from the ransomware sample and 15 APIs from the Binion samples. Figure Figure One show a uh, figure uh, Figure A shows the ROC curve uh, for RF model. Uh, figure B show the ROC curve for SVM model, and similarly, uh, Figure C show the ROC curve for Canon model. Table three show the accuracy of our model uh, with precision recall in F1 score. Using the Canon model, we were able to achieve a prediction accuracy of 99.18%. Conclusion This paper is targeted toward detecting ransomware that use API based obfuscation techniques and mesh malware uh, uh, and mesh malwares. Other deliberately change the co control flow of APIs to avoid detection from anti malware software. Researchers extracted the features from the logs collected through the sandbox environment. Experimental results show that it it achieved an acceptable accuracy greater than 99% using a Canon classifier and hyperparameter uh, tuning. Also, this model yields a high accuracy detection of unknown ransomware based on the API calls. This method can be further expanded and improved with the file system activity and network activity log obtained from the Cuckoo Sandbox. Future, uh, future work can be to collect more ransomware samples and conduct experiments using other ML based approaches, including deep learning based techniques. That's all from our side. Thanks for watching.